hello everyone welcome back to my channel today we are unboxing a holy grail figure of mine and it is Akko from Little Witch Academia I am so obsessed with this figure I've been so obsessed with to clarify I've been so obsessed with trying to find this figure when i initially found out about this figure i don't think um i don't think i knew about this figure during the time pre-orders were up i think i found out about it like walking through convention like the convention dealer hall and i saw her at one point and i never ended up getting her and then after that the price hiked up so much and ever since then, I've regretted not, not buying her. I never bought her. The reason for that was I did have a My Figure Collection account at the time. And under the comments, I would see people like bashing this figure. Uh, a, for like the size of the actual figure compared to what the scale is supposed to be. I don't know. It, it's a 1 7 scale. So it, already I can see by looking through the window here. It, it's pretty small for a 1 7 scale, but I'll give my thoughts on that later. So I I basically saw so many comments bashing this figure for like the size of the figure in relation to the price and just like how it doesn't make sense as a 1 7 scale. And I just went with whatever the comments said. Like I put aside my own personal feelings for this character and this figure and didn't buy her. And then afterwards, I finally went back and I was like, no, I actually really want it. Cause it was like still in the back of my head. Like I really like Akko. And I think this is like the only Akko figure, the only Akko scale, sorry. I wanted it so bad. So uh, I ended up looking for her, searching for her for so long and I could not find her. And like on eBay, she's she ranges from 300 to $500 no thanks okay so i finally found her on makari i have her now and that's all that matters and we're gonna go ahead and unbox her so please make sure you leave a like and uh leave a comment let me know if you own her or if that's ever happened to you where you look at a figure and you like it so much but then you're kind of swayed by the co negative comments ugh, and you skip out or if you have a figure that you see a ton of negative comments on and you're just like i don't care i'm still buying it and you don't regret that decision. But anyways, here we go. Let's go ahead and take her out of the box. Ugh. Or let me show you the box. Um, but yeah, this is the box, clear window, title of the show, Little Witch Academia. Uh, it says Akko, or it says Atsuko. That's her, that's her. Pretty basic box, right? Pretty straightforward, but okay. So I don't really remember exactly what the comments said about assembling this figure, but I think I remember them saying it was a little difficult. So this should be fun. Here's the thing. She does not come with instructions. She just comes with this warning paper, this cautionary thing. So, yeesh. Okay, let's just... Here's her broom. This is the top of the broom that goes here. It's a pretty heavy broom. And I think that's to help her stay grounded along with the metal pole. And then the broom also has a spot to put the hole in. Did I like unfocus? What happened? Okay. So I have her all together. That was a little tricky, but not too difficult. I sometimes feel like figures that need instructions typically don't come with instructions and then the figures that are like really simple to assemble always come with instructions like she didn't she didn't come with instructions and i feel like she's one of the figures that definitely needed to come with instructions i don't know i don't know what the uh deciding factor is for uh for, for giving these figures instructions. But anyways, she's here, she's all done, she's set up. So first thing I wanna mention that I was really impressed with before I forget is her hat. So typically when I buy resin unlicensed figures, kind of like <laughs> this whole shelf, this whole Bungo Stray Dog shelf, 
they are all attached by magnets. So their head comes separately and you put their head on and like the neck park, it has a magnet in it. Um, same with the sleeves of their coats, their hands, like every piece has a magnet in it to attach. I don't own any licensed figure, at least not to my knowledge or current memory, that has a magnet. This one does and it is on her hat. And I think that is pretty cool and pretty different. I was not expecting that. I kind of uh, just assumed, well, before I unboxed her, I thought the hat came attached. But yeah, I thought even if like her hat was removable, I assumed that it'll just have this like indent, kind of like Nendroids where they'll have like the mold of their head imprinted inward. So it could just like be placed there lightly, but any sudden movements, it'll fall off, which I hate. Um, but no, this conveniently has a uh, magnet. It's not the strongest magnet, but I think it it it's good. It's good. It's good enough. Let's talk about the pose. I love it. I love this pose. It's so whimsical. It's so fun. She's being silly. This is so in character for Akko. I think the only issue, and I think the main issue I think people were having with this pose is because the figure in general is kind of small for a 1 7 compared to other 1 7 figures, her being crouched down and kind of like tucking herself in makes her look even smaller. But I also feel like this adds character to her. I don't know. I feel like it's a like very unique pose. And I'm will I think I'm willing to sacrifice that. Uh, I do wish she was bigger, don't get me wrong, but I think she's super cute and adorable. I guess they could have gone the route where she could be kind of floating mid-air, like she's actually riding the broom. But that that might be a little tricky and a little risky with breakage. So I think this is the safest pose to have her in while also giving her personality and, and you know, staying true to who she is. It's got a spark in her and I love it. I love the pose. And speaking of staying true to who she is and her character in the anime, she literally looks exactly how she does in the anime on this figure. She translates so well and I think, I don't think there's anything in here that doesn't make her look like who she is. But I will say it might be because of the lack of shading, but if you look too closely or for like too long at her face, her like mouth area kind of looks weird, makes her face look weird. I literally, and, and I tell you if you look at it for too long because I literally just noticed that because I've been like staring at her for so long. So I don't know if that's just like me trying to look for something probably isn't it probably is a little bit off but again i literally just noticed that i've looked at this figure a million times before on online and when i got her while she was sitting in the box and i haven't noticed it at all so yeah i think I, I, honestly i think it's fine I, personally it's just me though i think it's fine <laughs> okay moving on i will say the little ribbon on her broom and then her belt that she's wearing and whatnot. It's a little fragile. It like, oh, and like her hair, do you see that? I do not like that. That scares the living bejesus out of me. So if you have this figure, you plan on getting her, I would be very careful. One thing I don't like also is if it wasn't for her, be her broom being secured on here, Akko would actually like spin around. <laughs> She kind of wants to spin around right now. She's not wobbling. It's it's the metal pole wanting to spin around. And I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's going to cause me any issues in the future. But just something to point out. This figure is not perfect, as you can see. So <laughs> keep that in mind if you're planning on buying her and having high expectations. Um, the broom that she's holding on her, her like top hand, her hand on top, it doesn't actually like grip the broom. The bottom one does, you'll probably see it in the b-roll better. The bottom one does, but like the top one, it's kind of just floating. Yeah, you'll see it in the b-roll. Again, not a lot of shading. I don't care. I think this is so cute. I adore it. I love it. I, oh, I'm so happy I have it. But yeah, that is the holy grail of mine of Akko 
from, oh, I didn't even say what the company was that made this. I actually don't even know, to be honest. This was made in 2017, that's crazy, okay. Oh, Good Smile. There's like Good Smile's info on here. It's not focusing, but trust me. With that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm so happy that I finally have her. I'm gonna put her in my Magical Girl shelf. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye, guys.